YouTube family. How you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life Travel Diaries. Thanks for joining me and welcome. I am in Las Vegas. I am actually very excited to be here. And for those of you that follow me on my main channel, Rhonda Loves Life, you guys already know that I am in Vegas on a mini vacation and also work for my, I'm self-employed, but I also like to travel and have a good time. So in Vegas, you know, there's a lot that goes on in Vegas. Sin City, they call it. What else do they call it? The city that never sleeps and whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, I happen to be a traveler who don't drink and I don't gamble. So what in the hell am I doing in Vegas, right? Well, actually, there is a lot that you can do in Vegas other than the gambling and the partying, the drinking. Hey, if that's what you're into, no judgment on this end. But the point I want to make is that we can still have a good time. So I want to show you. So take this ride with me. For the next five days, today's the first day, I will publish in right here. I want to share with you the one exhibit that I attended today. There will be four, the next four days, I will publish another adventure or an event or an exhibit that I will attend so that by the end on that fifth day, you will have five different activities you can do if you decide to go to Vegas. I also must point out that I am not endorsing anyone. I'm not getting paid for this. I just love traveling and I love sharing my travel experiences with my um those who follow me on my channel. So I hope you get something from this video. So let's get started. Let's go. All right, I got my notes here. This will be quick and I it, I'm going to actually leave some pictures here. I'm going to it's going to play as I discuss the exhibit with you. So let me know what you think. Here we go. All right, let's go. Um today I went to see Real Bodies. It's an exhibit that's in Horseshoe Casino and there are 20 bodies that have been preserved uh, in a process called plastication. I believe that's how you pronounce it, yes. And what it does is that it replaces organic material with plastic that prevents decay. So these 20 bodies, the purpose of this exhibit is to basically give you, explain to us what it means to be human. Now, I always I answer the question. I never know what goes on the inner workings of my body, not in a real sense. So this exhibit is more like an anatomy class. And these 20 well-preserved bodies, they slice them down the middle so you can see the organs from the inside. And it goes right down. There's a process. I can't think of the name. It's a medical term, but I'm sorry, I didn't write it down. But um, as you can see in some of the pictures, take a look at it. They slice it down and believe it or not, one side of the body serves its purpose. The brain is split in half, but then the other side has a purpose and all the organs inside is there for a reason. Like one side would be the brain is split all the way down the body. Uh, and one side would have like the lungs and um, the brain, cause you know, the brain and the oxygen and lungs, all of that. Um, actually feeds the body. I'm not a medical expert, but this is how I fit. This is what I'm thinking when I read and I watch the exhibit. And the other side would have the other organs. So just take a look at it. What I'm gathering here is it's all by design. Nothing is mistake. There is no mistake. And the organs, its placement in the body has a distinct purpose. And it's not by accident. So looking at the exhibit and as it goes over the brain and the lungs and our circulatory system, the muscular system, how the blood flows through the body. I mean, what else did um, our digestive system? There is a picture I took of the colon, everything. I mean, it was just just check it out. It's amazing, amazing stuff. Um, the exhibit really points out some of the, um, they have on the wall, different expl explanations about what you're seeing. It gives you detail. And the one thing that came to mind is our breathing, breathing out and the history of, uh, the importance of breathing and meditation and all that and how different cultures. And you realize that we, you know, human beings, we've been around thousands of years and it made me 
think about just how precious our body is and just how short life is and how we just take it for granted. But being human beings, we are just innately flawed. I tell my kids that. Um, I remember telling my kids, there's no such thing as a perfect person. Everybody is flawed. And when you think of all the things that human beings, when you think of us, you think of the wars and what are we fighting over? You think of um, some of the discrimination or racism or you look at the politics and, the, and you got one side against the other and you got religions fighting, one side fighting against the others and you got human beings, just everyday people, we judge each other. And then you look at an exhibit like this and realize that we're all the same on the inside. We are all absolutely the same. There is no different. We're just a human being with the heart, lungs, uh, kidneys, liver, bladder, spleen, um, unless we, excuse me, unless we got it taken out. Um, you know, we all have the same muscular and skeletal system. I mean, we're human beings on the inside. We're all the same, pretty much. So the things that we worry about in this world when we're only here temporarily, it, it's, it, it actually checks you when you get through with the exhibit. I left there feeling like, uh, I did get this t-shirt, relax, and then I got the uh, real bodies. I got the t-shirt, it was like 25 bu bucks, but I got it a large, because you know it's gonna shrink. Um, then that way it'll fit nicely. So I do like how the collar's around my neck. It's not too big, but um, it's big enough because it will shrink when you wash it. But I walked away with that other stuff. I didn't want to get um, the book on it because I'm like, it was just, if you are squeamish, if you're squeamish in any way, um, this exhibit may not be for you. But uh, if you really want to understand and get a reality check on life in our bodies and really how our body's working and it is an incredible, incredible system. Um, the innards of our, and then it makes you question, what is it to be human? This is being human is only a temporary experience for us. It's not permanent. So it made me question more of the things that I, I'm concerned about. And I try to stay mindful, but going to this exhibit, I walked out of there thinking, having an appreciation for being part of the human race and um, also just taking a moment to be grateful that I'm here, knowing that we are not gonna be here forever. So Real Bodies, if you get a chance to come to Vegas, take, Vegas, take a look at it. I'll go visit it, it's at the Horseshoe Casino. It was only 26 bucks. Um, take the time when you go, don't rush through it. You want to uh, you know, really take in each part of the exhibit because they go through everything, every part of the body. Um, the it, the uh, the 20 bodies that are, were preserved and they had like, oh, they also had babies. If you look at the ones with, uh, when does life really begin? So they had um, little fetus, uh, fetus that was like, uh, what, 12 weeks old and they got one 15 weeks old. And then, so you'll, you'll be able to take a look at it yourself. I got some pictures here. Um, so that debate, I don't, uh, uh, you know, that I, I don't have an opinion on that. Um, cause I don't like politics. I don't discuss religion and I don't get into debates cause I believe it, it separates us. Uh, and that I don't want, I don't want any part of it, but it's incredible. They had conjoined twins that were, um, they did not survive, so they could not remove them. So they were still conjoined and stuck together. I mean, you know, together. And then they had, um, other uh, preserved fetuses there. So I got some pictures, but um, it's just a quick reminder that we are only here temporarily, guys. And we have to probably think twice of what we spend our time doing because this body of ours is only temporary. But this exhibit, I found it very fascinating. Um, I did not find it sobering considering those were dead, uh, were actual human live beings at one time, but now they're no longer with us, but their bodies are being used, uh, preserved and used to educate us. Um, so I didn't find it sobering, but I did find it to be more of a reality check. And it's just a reminder of how short life is and how finite. We're not here forever. So it's, pro it's probably important that we stop and just take a moment and be grateful and humble 
that we've got this life and take better care of it while we're here. So guys, let me know what you think of this video. I hope you get something for, from it. This is day one uh, of my uh, adventures in Vegas. I'm having a great time. And uh, trust me, I don't gamble, I don't drink, and I'm having a wonderful time. But for those who are, I'm sure that, because I, as I walk through the casinos, you got people dressed up, you got people who are casual. I mean, it is, everybody's here to have fun. That's one thing everybody has in common. They are ready to have fun. Some are here to get married. Just It's just a fun place. So uh, hope you get something from this video. Leave your comments in the chat. And I want to thank you for watching. Love you. Ciao.